What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon China Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing yet another banger of a team. We got Swift Swim Floatzel alongside with Drizzle Pelipper. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, how many times do I have to tell you? How many times does your old man jeans have to tell you guys? Hit that big red subscribe button and join the community. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. That really blows my mind. That blows my mind considering I have a decent following. I have a decent amount of subscribers, decent amount of viewers, and 60% of them are not. Let's go. Get on top of it. Join the community. Seriously, shout out to all my subscribers. Really does go a long way. But let's get into the team preview right here. Starting off with the one and only Floatzel. And I absolutely love this Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemons for the Sinnoh region. Very cool design. Very strong water type. We gave this thing a Life Orb as item. So it can hit like an absolute truck. Nature's going to be adamant for this thing. So it's going to get that physical attack boost. And then EVs, obviously, we're going to be maxed out in attack. Half in it in speed and half in it in HP. And the reason I half it in speed is due to its ability. We got Swift Swim on this thing. In the rain, it's going to be able to outspeed pretty much anything. So why would we put extra EVs in speed? Why wouldn't we use it somewhere else to make this Pokemon a little bit more beefier? So that's the reason why I half it in speed and half it in HP. But definitely always got to give this thing full attack because, you know, it's a big old physical attacker. Move set for this thing is going to be Waterfall for Stab. Two covers moves with Ice Fang Crunch and then Protect for our fourth and final move. Next Pokemon cannot have a rain team without either Pelipper or Politoed. And we gave this one to Pelipper over here because, honestly, I like Pelipper a lot more. I think its move pool is a lot better and it hits a lot harder. We have Scald on this thing. Hurricane for stab, Roost to get some HP back, and Protect for our final move. EVs for this Pokemon is pretty much all over the place. We have maxed out in HP, little bit in special attack, little bit in speed, little bit in defense. It's, like I said, pretty much all over the place. Nature for this Pokemon is going to be modest to give it another little special attack boost. And last but not least, the item this thing is holding is Damp Rock, so its uh, reign can actually last a lot longer than it normally does. Third Pokemon for the squad is going to be Venusaur. We have the rain team, we have Venusaur to counter up on some... Uh, Storm Drain Gastrodon situation, so I really do like having Venusaur here. We got the Koba Berry, so we can actually eat up an air flying or a flying type move. We got Timid Nature to give it a little bit of speed boost. EVs are going to be special attack and speed with Overgrow, not Chlorophyll, because you know we're rocking Rain Team. No need for Chlorophyll ability. And then last but not least, moveset we're rocking with is Sleep Powder, Sludge Bomb for Sab, Energy Ball for Sab, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Togekiss. Gotta love Togekiss can pretty much come in on any single team and do a lot of work. We got Follow Me, we got Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Protect, fairly normal moveset for this Pokemon. EVs for this guy is gonna be all over the place with HP, Special Attack, Speed, Defense, Super Luck as its ability. So, you know, we can, we're rocking that scope once as well for its item. And last but not least, its nature is going to be Timid to give it an extra little speed boost in certain situations. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Lightning Rod Raichu, and I love this Pokemon, especially when you're rocking out with rain teams. It just protects all the uh, water Pokemon and flying Pokemon from lightning moves, so gotta have a Raichu or some sort of Lightning Rod Pokemon on the team. We give this thing the Focus Sash, so it can't be one-tapped. Nature's gonna be Timid. Eevee's gonna be Special Attack and Speed with the Lightning Rod ability, obviously. And last but not least, the moveset is Fake Out for Flinches, Nuzzles for Paralyzed, Fake Out for Damage and Pivoting Out, and Brick Break, just to break screens in case people are rocking Raichu with screens, so... Really do like this moveset, really do like this uh, build for this guy. Let's head on to our last Pokemon, which is Scizor. And Scizor is another Pokemon just like Tokus that can come in on any team and do so much work. We got X Scizor, we got Bull Punch, Sword Stance set up, and Protect. Normal moveset for this guy. EVs are going to be HP and Attack with the Technician ability. Nature's going to be Adamant. And last but not least, the item this thing is holding is Lumberry to protect it from all status conditions. Guys, if you want to check out this team for yourself, we got that whole Pokey pace down in the description below. Definitely go check it out. Check out the EVs, check out the moves, all that good stuff. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder. Look to get some wins with the Swift Swim Floatzel team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle for today's video. And we're going up against a pretty strong team right here. He has Zapdos alongside with Gyarados, Garchomp, Pachirisu, Hippowdon for weather control, and Gardevoir. I definitely got to watch out for that Zapdos. I know I do have uh, Lightning Rod, but most Zapdos is run Discharge. And he could actually be paired up with that uh, Hippowdon to not hit it, alongside with that Pachirisu, who's probably rocking Voltips with So I do have to watch out for both of that and that Discharge. So do I even go in with the Rain Squad? I definitely want to bring the Rain Squad because we want to show it off. He does have Weather Control. And do I even lead Floatzel? I mean, I could lead Floatzel. I think we lead Raichu. Raichu could be good. We can fake out. We can nuzzle up on a lot of Pokemon. And I could also lead Venusaur. Venusaur could be solid. But at the same time, yo, dude, those air moves really do me dirty. Those air moves will do me dirty if he leads it Zapdos. I could go Pelipper. I could protect her in one. I could do, uh, hmm. I could go in with Floatzel and then maybe swap into Pelipper. It really depends what he's going to go into. Maybe I'll go into Floatzel here. Yeah, we'll rock out with Floatzel. We'll bring Venusaur in the back end. And then, last but not least, 
We're gonna need Pelper, actually. We're definitely gonna need Pelper. We might not even want Venusaur. I think we just go Togekiss here. I think if we if we just get rid of that uh, Zapdos, we should be thriving. I know we have a lot of Pokemon that are weak to Electric here, but I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Let's let's try this one out. Let's try this one out. Hopefully, it doesn't lead to Zapdos. So Zapdos could be scary. It definitely could be scary. But we're here to show off this Floatzel. He's gonna end up leading Garchomp and Zapdos. And there's another pair that he can just straight up discharge into. So in this case, what do I do? What do I do here? Does Floatzel outspeed? I mean, I could just go straight into Pelipper Swap, but that wouldn't be good. That would not be good. So you know, I could just fake out you and just go straight into an Ice Fang. Which I'm thinking of doing, just straight up Ice Fanging and taking out the Garchomp. Could be really, really good. So I'm just going to fake out this Zapdos. We are just going to go straight into an Ice Fang here. And potentially take out this Garchomp. I mean, we're not going to be faster than that right now, but Iki's going to poke here. And my lovely little Raichu is going to be able to survive this hit. Floatzel's going to be able to soak it up. Get the Focus Ash rolling. And Ice Fang should be able to come out here and get some big damage off. Should be able to get some big damage off onto this thing. Zapdos flinches. And Ice Fang's going to poke here. Send it, baby. Send it. Oh my god, this thing's sash. Give me a freeze. Something. Something. Give me a freeze. Whack. That is whack. Okay, so from here, what do I do? He's probably going to EQ again. So these guys pair up really, really well. I mean, is my Raichu the fastest? I think Raichu might be fastest. So in this case, I could just go straight into like a, this. And then just waterfall across because he might protect. So I want to Volt Switch into uh, Pelipper. That's exactly what I want to do. I want to Volt Switch into Pelipper here. And then have my Foltzel get off a shot here. So Volt Switch is going to poke out here. We're going to bring out Pelipper. And we're going to try to take out this Zapdos here. So this could be a pretty good turn for us. This could be a pretty good turn for us. So we'll have Raichu in the back end again. And if we can get rid of this uh, Zapdos here, we could be sitting in a great spot. Because we have Tokus in that back end, which can just handle the Garchomp, no problem. And if he goes into an EQ here, that will just take out Foltzel. But Foltzel would be doing a lot of work. He would be doing a lot of work. So Swift Swim is going to poke here. Waterfall is going to come out here. Stab. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Great solid turn for us. Is he going for an EQ? Let's see what he does here. Let's see what this dude plays. I don't mind if he goes for an EQ. He's going to drop a rocks. Wow, what a read. I give it to him all day. What a read. Get some mean damage on my Pelipper. Going to take out my Floatzel, but I think we're thriving here. I think we are definitely thriving here. Could bring back out Raichu if I want to. Just fake out and take out the Garchomp. Or do I just go into Togekiss? And save my Raichu. So what's he going to do? Drop a rock slide? Probably outspeed me. Hmm. What is my play? I could roost this turn and just gleam. Get some more HP back on the uh, Pelipper. But oh, do we go into Raichu just yet? Do I go into Raichu just yet? I said we just go into Togekiss. He's definitely going to rock side, get off some damage on us, but I think we should be fine. He's going to send out Hippowdon. Change it up the weather and mm, give him that thing Sand, though, which is kind of scary. The rock sides could definitely come out here. I might want to swap into my... Raichu at this point. Or do I just roost? What's my play here? Maybe try to go for a burn here. Scald here. Or do I roost? What's the play here? I think I'm going to roost. I think I'm going to roost alongside with a Dazzling Gleam. Get some HP back here. I'm just going through a Gleam. Definitely going to be my play. Definitely going to be my play. Because we know he's going for a Rock Side, right? Or maybe just a Dragon Call on the Pelipper. But I think he goes for a Rock Side thinking maybe we go for a Follow Me. Yeah, there's the Rock Side. It connects on both. Both my Pokemon should be able to eat. Pelper survives on five, which is wonderful. As you know, we roost in here. Gets a crit. What you mean gets a crit on me? Toke is going to go next. Dazzle Gleam is going to take out that lovely little Garchomp and do some nice damage on the Hippowdon, which I can start air slashing up on next. So I do dig that. I do dig that. The thing is, I cannot swap my what's called. I cannot swap my Pelper because if I swap them, then Raichu will die to a Buffet. Which is real tough. But Roost is going to come out here. Bring us back up to 89 HP. Which is lovely. And a Stealth Rocks is going to set up here. So whenever Raichu comes in the field. He will die. So these are my two Pokemon left. Let's try to get after it this way. Togekiss is going to take some buffets. We know we outspeed Hip out on. So it really depends on this last Pokemon here. But yo. Solid first battle. Floatzel did some big damage. We got to show off him. And now it's coming down to the wire. It is coming down to the wire. So I wonder what he's going for here. I really would love to get Rain out again. I would love to get out Rain. I'm going to send out Guard Wars. Of course, kind of scary. I think it's super, super fast. And what do we think it's going to go for? I could protect you, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to protect. And I think I'm just going to go into maybe like an air slash and go after Guard for Because okay, I don't think I'm really too worried about. Maybe try to get a flinch on the thing, but Guard for is super fast. It's super fast. So we protect the bird. Hopefully that was a good call. Hopefully that was a good call. It goes for a gleam. That's fine. Bird's going to be able to soak. And Tokus should be able to soak here as well. And hopefully we can get a crit here. Let's see how much damage it's going to do. Wow, that did, that did a lot of damage. Air Slash is going to poke through here. Give me a crit. Give me some big damage on this thing. No crit. 
That's kind of whack. And this thing is just going to straight up yawn. So I could follow me the shot. Or I could just protect. I might just protect you. Or I could swap you. I could swap Tokus. Just so it doesn't go to sleep. Because we might need that. We might need that. Let's Pelper here. I think we just... Oh my god. This is so tough. Because I don't think Hippowdon can do anything. I think he's just rocking EQ Stealth Rocks and like something else. I think he's just going to start yawning onto me. In this case, I could go for a Skull. But Hurricane might be our play. Hmm. I think Scald. I think we have to go with Scald here. So we're going to Scald here. I have to swap. Raichu's going to go down whenever it comes in here anyway. So mm, I think we just double killed us. I think I just made a bad play. But I think I think Tokus or I think Raichu goes down here and then Tokus drops a rock. That could be tough. That could be tough. I just want to swap it so the Yawn wouldn't affect this. But no. No, I think I messed up hard. I think I made an awful play. Not thinking enough. Butterboard's going to gleam. But this was like our last hope. Gleam is going to take us out. Yo, GG's, man. Battle number one in the dump. In the dump, we're going to have to send out... Oh, this thing did have Fire Fang. That's pretty cool. This thing did have Fire Fang, but it was over with anyway. It was over with anyway. That thing was gleaming. It was going to pick up a double kill. We were trying something out, but I honestly forgot that if I swap out the uh, the Tokus, it was going to have to come back in and take some mean stealth rock damage. So we'll see if it would have survived. I don't think it's going to be able to, but not a bad first battle. We got to show off the floats all pretty well. He just had some good back-end Pokemon to take me out, and those stealth rocks really did me dirty. First battle did not go so bad. We got to show off the power of Floatzel, picking up some huge damage on a Garchomp, which was obviously Focus Sash. That was a little rough. You never really see Focus Sash Garchomps, but we made a great Bolt Switch play into the Swift Swim Pel, or not Swift Swim, into the Drizzle Pelper to get our Swift Swim Floatzel, outspeeding the Zapdos and picking up that huge KO. But we ended up losing. It's all good. It is all good. We're hopping into our second battle here, going up against an Empoleon team with Drift Blim, who's probably Rocket Tail when he also has the Tyranitar for Sandstorm, so definitely gotta watch out for that. He also has the Rose Raid. Lucario and Gardevoir. So I'm going to lead the foils again. I want to show off this Pokemon yet again. And you guys know, since we lost that first battle, we need to win back to back here. We need to grab ourselves a perfect record with the foils squad. So we're going to be doing that. We are going to be going back to back. I promise you guys. I promise your boy Gene's going to be coming in hot here, but we're going to lead the foils. So I am going to bring Pelper in the back just in case like he wants to lead Tyrantar. Kind of like same option as last time. So I kind of do like that. I could lead Raichu, but I don't think I need Raichu here, right? Do I really need the Raichu? Might end up leading the drift one. We could go in the Venusaur or we could just go straight into Togekiss. We could go straight into Togekiss. I'm kind of liking the Raichu here. I am kind of liking the Raichu. Just for all the paralyzes and fake out control. It's really, really good and it works wonders. But do I do that? Do I lead that? Or do I bring Scissor? I might lead the Skiz, dude. Scissor's where it's at. I really do like Scissor. He's just great all around. He's just great all around. So I am going to lead the Scissor. We're going to bring Pelper in the back. And then last but not least, do we go Venusaur or do we go Togekiss? Tokus is nice, but he does have that Lucario who's scaring me a little bit. I'm kind of digging the Venusaur here. I'm going to go Venusaur. I love Venusaur. I just absolutely love his Pokemon. It's really, really cool. Really, really cool. But like I said, we got to go back to back here. We're going to start off here by grabbing ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yeah, let's see who he leads. Let's see who he leads. He's going to go in with Balloony. <laughs> I love the name, yo. Balloony. <laughs> Drift Bloom and Rosemary come out here. We have Floatzel chilling here, which I kind of dig. Which I kind of dig. I could just go straight into an Ice Fang. Or I could protect. I might just protect here. And then have Scissor maybe go into like a Swords Dance or something. Could be really nice for us. We do have Lumberry. I could see him coming into my float so hard. Let me just see. Let's just, let's just Swords Dance up here. Let's just Swords Dance. Because he could throw a burn onto me. Because we know Drift Blim is uh, Rocks with will o -Wisp. So we're going to protect here for that Rose Raid. And we're going to see what happens here. Giga Jane's going to come through here. And we're going to block it. We're going to instantly block that. And we're going to set up a Swords Dance with our boy. And Minimize is coming through. We don't like that. We do not like Minimize. We do not like Minimize. So someone who's going to have to get after Balloony right here is going to have to be my uh, my, my, pal my Paloops, my Pelipper. This Hurricane doesn't miss in the rain, so... I think that goes through Minimize. That could be really, really good. In this case, I am going to swap you. If you want to go for Giga Jane, we're going to swap into you. And I think we... Do we just go for a Bull Punch? Or do we just go for, like, maybe an X? Take out you. I think we just do that. I think this is going to be our play here. I think this is our play. We take out Rose Raid. And we get rolling out from here. Let me get rolling out from here, yo. Balloonie's scaring me, dude. Minimize on Balloonie? Could be doing us dirty. Could be doing us dirty. We do have a Swords Dance set up, which is really, really nice. So they make a great call by going into Floatzel and using that kind of as a distraction. And now we're going to bring out the Venusaur. So this thing's going to drop a Toxic Spikes. You buttery biscuit. Get some spikes rolling. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. And this thing's just minimizing up. So I'm just going to not focus on that Pokemon. And focus on this this other side. 
Because that thing is scaring me. <laughs> Things like, we're, we're just allowing it to minimize boost up. This is going to be awful. Critical hit comes out here, but it didn't even matter. We're sword stance scissor. We all know that's doing some massive damage. Okay. So from here, what do I do? I do not know. I do not know because that balloon is scaring me. He's going to send out his next Pokemon, which is going to be Empoleon. And I could just double the Empoleon here. I'm going to throw it to sleep. And I could sword dance again. Or I could go for a bullet punch. I'm going to try to get off some damage on Balloony. I'm going to have faith in my scissor here to connect here. Come on, Skizzy. Connect. Bullet punch comes out here. God dang, Balloony. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 What's going on? <laughs> Hate this game, dude. Hate this game. What's he going for here? What is he going for, dude? He is stockpiling up. Ice Beam's flying through. That's rough news. Venusaur is going to be able to soak up. And I'm going to go for the sleep again. I'm going for that same thing. My sword stance again? No. We're going straight after this guy. That's so rough. That is so rough. That is so rough. Okay, so I could bring out Pelper next turn and just start hurricaning on to... Dude, that stockpile is scaring me, man. That balloon is scaring me, dude. But I need to connect some moves here. Hopefully our bullet punch can fly through here. It'll be really good for us. We do need to, to actually connect, but yo, minimize is just... It's just too good. It's just too good. Let's go. Fingers crossed for the skizzy here. And hopefully our sleep powder can land this time because, you know, we missed it last time. That's a little upsetting. So we have Empoleon in here. We probably think Empoleon's going for that uh, Ice Beam, right? So let's see. Let's see. I really don't want to swap my scissor considering it is Sword Stance up, so there's really no point for me doing it. Bull Punch is going to connect, which is lovely. How much damage are we doing? Good amount of damage. So we bring this thing down to red, which is awesome. He's going to eat this thing's berry up. And Balloony is chilling. So he cannot eat up another Bull Punch. And he's just going to go for another Minimum. So in this case, we should be able to put the Empoleon on to sleep and kind of just like get after it from here. Let's see how this one plays out. Sleep Powder comes through and it does connect. Okay. Okay. So we're sitting here in a decent spot. I kind of like where we're sitting, but again, Balloony is always scaring me. We still have a Lumberry in case he wants to go for the uh, the, the burn on the my boy. But I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Uh, energy Ball could come through here, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to chip away on you. And I think I just keep on for bullet punches over onto the Balloon. Onto Balloon. Good old Balloony, dude. I'm loving the name. I'm loving the name. But I'm going to get Floatzel back out here. And I think we're in a, such a good position here because we have a lot of different Pokemon. We still have our two back-end Pokemon, which is really, really good. And this thing is going to go for that strength set, which kind of stinks, man. But still, another Bull Punch oh, will not KO now because this thing is back up to full HP. That's rough news. God dang, Balloony, man. But I think Hurricane is going to be your fight here. Right? Hurricane hits 100% of the time. So we're just going to start chipping up on these Pokemon. He does get that special defense drop, right? Yeah, so another energy ball will take it out. That's awesome. That's dope. And we'll see what we want to do from here. I might Sword Stance up again. He's just going to keep Strength Sapping me. Let's do the Sword Stance. While we're here, let's just Sword Stance. Set up my boy. Let's just put him up to plus three. Because he's not attacking me. I don't think he really can attack me now that his, now that his Impel Me on to sleep. Because he has Stockpile. He has Strength Sap. Um, I think those are the only two. Uh, and Minimize. And then what's his last? I don't really know. It has to be a hitting move, right? It has to be a hitting move. He's gonna stockpile two. Could be spit up, right? Isn't that like the other stockpile move? Energy ball's gonna come through here. We're gonna say bye bye to Empoleon with that special defense drop. We got a crit. It didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. We're getting these crits when they don't matter. The sword stance come come out here. We popping up here. Stockpile, man. Stockpile scary. Dude. All right. How's Jeans play this one? I think we just keep going with Venusaur. Maybe putting Pokemon to sleep until Venusaur drops out. Like we gotta play this one slow. We gotta turn this into like a 4v1 situation up against this balloon. Tar is gonna poke out here and we force the Tyranitar to come out, which is awesome. Which is awesome because now we can take full weather control with having that Pelipper in the back end. Loving it. Uh, do I just put that thing to sleep or do I go straight into an energy ball? I'm just gonna double down into this thing. I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna go for a bull punch. I need to outspeed. I need to do damage. We're plus three. We're plus three with this scissor. So if this bull punch comes through here, I think we just KO this team instantly, right? Plus three. Bull punch flying through here. Is this thing sashed? I can see it being sashed. Bull punch comes through. And it's not sashed. So we turned this battle into a 4v1. And I'm not going to lie. I'm still scared here. Considering Balloony is just set up here. It's going to go for a strength sap. We're still plus two. Good play here. Just start tackling on this thing. Maybe trying to put it to sleep. But plus two. I'm just going to keep going for attacks here. Energy Ball's going to come through here. And he dodged it. God dang Balloony. And the Buffets are going to start teeing off on it. Which we love. Which we love. I wonder how this one's going to play out. I really do, because we can't miss too many more shots, right? 
I'm just gonna go for oh uh, I'm gonna go for a poison actually. I think poison would be better. If we get a poison on the lovely little balloon, they can just be slowly chip damage on them. So let's just go in here. Let's see if he'll quit. He does cancel. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We use full size distraction and Venusaur and Scissor come in that back end to grab ourselves that win. Last battle for today's video coming at you guys, and I promise you guys that winning record. So that's exactly what we're going to be able to do. We dominated that last battle with our Venusaur and Scissor. So I'm going to get Floatzel back out here doing some work with this one. But this guy also has a rain team right here. He has Rotom Wash. He has him on top for Fake Out and Intimidate. He also has the Lightning Rod Raichu with Fake Out, Intimidate with the Gyarados, Toxicroak, and then the Polito to set the rain. So I do definitely want to still bring my Pelipper. I just see my Pelipper doing a lot of work here. But I'm kind of scared of the Toxic because it probably has, uh, what is it, Water Absorb? Where it has, like, uh, Dry Skin. That's what it is. It has Dry Skin ability, so it can circle Water Shots. But I'm going to end up leading my Float. Actually, probably not going to lead my Float Soul. I'm going to end up leading my Togekiss here. Where do I lead my Pelipper? Set range just instantly. I'm going to end up leading my Togekiss. Just in case he wants to lead him on top and kind of roll after it that way. I could go Venusaur as well because Venusaur could be decent. I could go Raichu here. I do kind of dig Raichu. I'm going to Ra Raichu, and then I'm going to go Float Soul and then Pelipper. Or do I go Floats on somebody else and hope that he brings rain? I could hope that he brings rain, but I really do like Pelper in this situation. Pelper just has Hurricane. Hurricane does a lot of work, so I am going to rock out with that. And we're going to lock it down. We are going to lock it down. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Even though I kind of would rather go into somebody else, but I cannot back on him having the rain if I'm bringing Floats on. If I'm bringing Floats on. But he's going to end up bringing Polytoad, so we could have just, could have just uh, not even brought Pelper. Which is totally fine. He's going to lead him on top alongside with uh, Polyton, which is a really good lead for us. It's a really, really good lead for us. He does have fake out. We do outspeed, so I'm going to fake out him, and I'm going to go into an air slash. It's going to be my 100% play here. going to be 100% my play. I have I have special attacking Pokemon, so we should be thriving. Here. And please, hopefully, this guy dropping four Pokemon, not six. Cool, he has four. And look at his team's top one and evil Kermit. <laughs> that is just hilarious. I could go into a gleam, but I think air slash is going to be my play. I'm just going to air slash. I'm just going to fake out. We're just going to do a lovely little fake out onto his fake out user. I wonder what Toad's going to do. Toad's kind of just chilling here. He could end up swapping. But Toad is just chilling here. He's just chilling. I did love me Palutoad, but Pelipper is so much cooler. I just think Pelipper is just awesome. I used to hate Pelipper. Like when I was younger, I was just like, oh, why would anybody want Pelipper on his team? Now I absolutely love that Pokemon. I think it's such a cool flying type. He's going to withdraw the Palutoad. That's totally fine. I mean, who's he going to go into? He's going to go into Raichu of his own. So Volt Absorb is here, but we're not going for any Electric Move. We're not going for any Electric Move. We're going for a Fake Out, and we're going for an Air Slash over onto this Hitmonton, which is a really good turn for us. Which is a really good turn for us. So Air Slash is going to poke here, and we're getting off some damage. And not just some damage, a whole critical hit for a big old KO. So Tokus was a solid lead. That's why I thought I should lead Tokus, because I thought he was going to go and hit my top. And in this case, I could... I was going to say I could Volt Switch, but I can't. But I could just hard swap into Float Soul. Saturn's gonna come out here, and who's Saturn? It's gonna be this guy. It's gonna be this guy, and in this case, we're just going for another Air Slash, right? I mean, he probably fakes out my Togekiss, I'm not even gonna lie. So, you know what? I could just protect Togi. I'm gonna protect Togi, and I'm just gonna go for a uh, Brick Break. I'm just gonna try to get off some damage onto this thing. Because Toxicroak is honestly scary here, it outspeeds me does outspeed me so like a poison jab will just KO my Tokus very very easily I'm kind of wondering what we should do here scared of the dry skin the dry skin definitely throw me off here protects coming out from Togi we gotta play this one slow we gotta play this one slow I'm gonna go for the fake out and we block it and show me he's doubling down on that go for like a poison move right he's gotta be doing that brick breaks gonna fly take off sash if he's having it and get off a little bit of damage he's gonna go for a surf okay I think he's surfing he's surfing Dry skin coming. Oh, Raichu server. I thought Raichu used to fake out. Okay, that's fine. The Raichu serves for the dry skin. Um, that's cool by me. What do I do? I play here. I guess we'll just go for an air slash. Dude, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Do I just follow me and keep the Raichu alive? Or do I just hard swap the Raichu here? Hmm. Good hard. I think we hard swap the Raichu and save it. Just let Togekiss go down here. Because we know both of them outspeed me, right? So in this case, I'm just going to go for the hard swap into the full soul. Just try to get on my rain squad. But I need to swap my Raichu in order to have a fake out later in the round. So I am digging this. We're going to swap Raichu. And we're going to go into Floatsy. And we'll see what he does from here. Floatsy has speed. Floatsy has great speed here. 
great, great speed. And follow me, he's gonna poke out here. We're gonna let Tokus go down here. Thunder, oh my god. No way he goes into a thunder. No way he goes to a thunder. We could have just lightning rotted that. He's just gonna go into a taunt here. I mean, okay, I'm cool with that. Because I'm just gonna follow me again. He's gonna follow me again. He's gonna follow me. Oh, he can't follow me after taunt, which is tough. I can't go into an air slash. And I believe dry skin doesn't soak over. So waterfall could just come in here and take out Raichu. We do outspeed it. 100%. Waterfall can come out here. Yes, sir. Bullets are coming in hot. Big KO. Big time KO. Gotta love it. Wish I could have followed me again because I really just want to protect this Futsal. Now, what's this thing going for? What's this thing going to hit me with that poison move, though? Rain Punch coming in hot. Can we eat that? Good work, Futsal. Good work. I love you, Futsal. So, Futsal is going to be able to survive yet another turn, which is great. And Air Slash is going to come in here. I'm surprised he's not targeting down this Tokus. This Tokus is just going to rip it here. Later. That's pretty much GG's. That's GG's. Oh, thank God Futsal could soak up that shot. And that is why I gave it some HP. That is exactly why we go back to the intro, why I split the HP and speed EVs. So, just so it could be a bit more bulkier and eat up shots like that. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon, and it's going to be Evil Kermit. It's over with. Unless, does he have one more? No, I think we've taken out everything, right? Yeah, 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 GG's. GG's, yo. Swift Swim Floatzel Team, I'm loving it. I still just want to go into Waterfall, because, you know, we're in the rain, and it's just a lot of fun. But he doesn't even cancel battle. How much damage is his water going to fall on, though? It's a lot of damage. Up against a Politoed? Politoed's real beefy. He's real beefy. Does some big damage. Floatzel goes down the light form. Loving it. Loving the Floatzel squad here. Loving the Floatzel squad. Surf's gonna come in here, and that's gonna KO me. It's gonna KO me. Tough dudes. Pelper's gonna have to come out here. And do we have... Didn't we bring Venusaur? Did we bring Venusaur? I, I think we did. Oh, no. We have Raichu. I totally forgot. I thought we brought Venusaur. You know, your boy loses his mind sometimes. I'm losing my mind. But Pelper... Coming out here, Raichu's gonna come out here. That is G to G. So I'm just gonna fake it out and rip this thing with a hurricane. Rain did stop, but we have our damp rock pelper. So I'm just gonna rip this thing with a hurricane. Just because I want to. Just because I want to. He might protect. But yo, it's GG's, man. Evil Kermit, you're going down here. Hurricane coming out with Paloops. Get him out. Uh, get him out my face. Get him out my face. Fake out flinches. Hurricane. Do him dirty. Finish him off here. Evil Kermit flinches. And yo, Polito, let me tell you something. Come here. Come here. Get on out my game. Get on out my game. GG. I promise you guys that winning record after that first battle loss, we prevailed. Went 2 and 1. Swift Swim Floatzel definitely checks out my book. Great Pokemon. Very, very strong Pokemon. Very fast and very, very solid in that rain. It is just amazing all around, and I absolutely love using it. Pair it up with the Pelipper. Can't go wrong with any type of Swift Swim team. We got to show off the Venusaur a little bit in today's video, alongside with the Tokus, Raichu, and Scissor. So I love this team all around. And more importantly, we grabbed ourselves that winning record for you guys and the viewers watching. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.